Hello mga kachika, andito ang inyong chikadora ngayon sa Art Gallery at dito ay maraming chika kaya makikisabay tayo sa mga nan dito. Ito, papasok tayo sa Crown of the Continent Gallery. Halika, samahan niyo ako, makichika tayo dito. Halika. Ito, ito, hindi natin ito pwedeng palampasin na chika dito. Halika. Art that has either been purchased for the museum or given to the museum, sometimes by families, some you know, sometimes by artists. Because the purpose of the Hawke Day is really we are the depository and the museum for Glacier National Park. Some national parks have their own museums in the park and curators and museum directors and all of that who are there in the park. Glacier does not. And so always from our beginning, one of our priorities and part of our mission is to celebrate the artists of Glacier National Park, um, some of whom were the artists before, uh, before the area was designated the park, and some, of course, who continue to paint in the park today. And so we have about 8,000 pieces, including a number of photographs, so that, that ups the, the count significantly. And obviously, we don't have enough space at this point in our life to display all of the pieces in our permanent art collection. But the Crown of the Continent Gallery is really designated as the area where we celebrate the pieces, by and large, that are part of our permanent collection. We talked about lines and shapes as the key elements in quilting. When you're looking at the pieces uh, and the paintings in this for artist. And if you look at that, you can picture how different this would be as a painting if you didn't have the use of it in this area here. So when you're looking at pieces, look at it and say, wow, that is a phenomenal use of color. That really makes it, you can say it makes it pop or it makes it tell the story, but it's pretty critical to that. Other elements that it's fun when you're looking at paintings, besides looking at the story of the painting, and these by and large are landscapes, uh, when you're looking at the story of the painting, it's fun to see when in your mind the story is being told. Is this something that's contemporary? Is this something that happened hundreds of years ago? Is this something that may be way out in the future? Um, who knows? Uh, we have a portrait, so you wonder if the portrait is of, you know, how, how would that portrait change if it were being painted today? Then you kind of look at what are the elements of the story? And is there, you know, with, with a group our size, if we were to take a piece, and we can use this large one right here as an example, if we spend time looking at Gary Schultz painting and each of us kind of telling a story, we'd all have little different bits of the story that we would tell. But again, look at what you're seeing the artist might be telling us. Look at, if you look at this in the saber, incredibly, use of incredibly wide, wide kind of brush. I want to, we'll talk a little bit more about that one in a second. But I want to reference two years ago. Um, obviously, it's the Salish and Kootenai was lots of beadwork. And some was damaged and had to be refurbished and uh, taken care of. But anyway, we're really that story. That's, you know, that's, this is not the time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, the, the Sherwood cabin was painted. There's a great story about this. Charlie Russell, as many of you who would know, uh, you know, Glacier Park uh, days, you know, there weren't roads, so you know, you came to West Glacier and then you had to take a buggy or horses or whatever to get to the lake. And so I'm gonna ask all of you, I say I'll give you 10 seconds, find something that nobody else in this room will have seen. My guess is that we will find something, each of us, that nobody else has seen. So there are that many details in this. And so whether it's, you know, the birdhouse or the smoke coming out or the dog or you know, whatever, all of the kinds of plants, the water coming down. So the, the intricacies of this are amazing. And I contrast that with a painting like this one, 
which again is being done with very interesting brush strokes, but not nearly the detail as you would look at that. Powerful story, I get the story. You know, and, and people will say, well, do you have to do the detail to tell the story? No, you don't have to do the detail to tell the story. But it's interesting to just see how two artists looked at mountains and scenery and are portraying them in such very, very different ways. Okay, I think we can go to the stairs and see that. That's all we want, right? <laughs>